first of all let me show you how it will look once you've done all the auto layout so it, the responsive thing will look like this so you can see everything is responsive auto layout and responsive right so you can create it for tablet and for mobile i want to tell you can change the position by dragging this if you also want to do this then please watch this video till the end and don't skip this video if you skip then you will miss the part show you how you can create responsive layout with auto layout so make sure that you watch this video till the end also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe so let's get started with this tutorial what you can do is first of all get the new frame size so you have to get uh, iPhone size right so once you get this size what you can do is first of all get your logo here whatever the logo you may have so you can get it here like this and then you have to create one more rectangle so I already have so I'm not gonna create anything so uh, get this kind of rectangle here and then now let me show you how you can do this so first of all what you have to do is uh, this is not auto layout for now right and this one is auto layout so I'm removing all the auto layouts from this page okay from the buttons from text and everywhere so if I remove this then you can see like if I remove all the things then you can see it, it will look like this and now if I keep it in frame then first of all create auto layout once you create the auto layout then you have to adjust the, here, the settings here on the right hand side you can see the hug <coughs> hug and fixed width so you can keep it hug and then you have to create you have to fill this and then once you filled it uh, then you have to adjust auto layout settings like the spacing and all the other things you have to adjust from this left side panel right auto layout section you can see auto layout section and <coughs> this text also should be filled always right so you can see there is option like hub content filled container fill container and fixed width so it should be always fill container and then this columns this field should be also uh, fill container right and this text also fill container then this button also fill container you can keep fill container then the text also fill container once you've done all these settings then this one also hug content and then you can see it is responsive except this text is not moving right now so you have to adjust this as well so in order to do that you have to adjust this click on this frame and then you can see it is fixed right now so you have to make it fill container and then you can see it is responsive right it is moving according to the curve according to my cursor right and then again we have to do uh, get this text here okay and this should also be fill container once we create the auto layout so now we have to create the whole uh, screen in layout so you can click on this screen and click on shift a and then you can see the it will convert into auto layout and then it should be filled again and then you can see the sizes and the width so we have to uh, reduce the we have to give gap on the left and right side so you can see you can give it and adjust it about here on the auto layout section so now it is right now 30 but i'm keeping it 24 and then the then the bottom size also should be bigger for example like you can keep like any of the sizes for now and then you, if i move it you can see it's not uh, right now working right so to make it work what you can do is click on this card and you can see it is fixed right now so make sure that it's all uh, it's all about this fixed and hook content right and fill container right so you can click on this and make it fill container and then you will see this is right now squeezed right so in, if we don't want to do like this if you don't want to make it something like this then what you can do is give space or the solution is you can make it you can keep it fixed width and then if we keep it fixed width then it will be like this right and it will work very well so now your problem is solved right so make sure that you 
watch this video again and again if you really want to learn this what are your things in figma so also if you really like this video then please hit the thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe to never miss any new videos like this so thank you thank you so much for watching this video see you later